It's Shikhan. Stories we're following for you today on Robin Hood Radio. We'll take a look at the case numbers for COVID-19 in our area. In Litchfield County, taking a look at the COVID-19 case numbers from yesterday afternoon, as reported by the various states, Cornwall 6, Falls Village none, Kent 7, New Milford 261, North Canaan 5, Salisbury 11, Sharon back down to 14, and Torrington 487. Meanwhile, in Dutchess County, taking a look at the local numbers that we have there. As of yesterday afternoon, Amenia less than 5, Clinton 7, Dover 9, Millbrook Village less than 5, Millerton Village less than 5, and Northeast less than 5, Pauling 22, Pauling Village less than 5, Pine Plains 7, Red Hook 7, Red Hook Village less than 5, Rhinebeck 66, Rhinebeck Village 8, Stanford less than 5, Tivoli Village less than 5, and Washington less than 5. Out of Columbia County yesterday, they have had 34 residents that have passed away due to COVID-19. They've received a total of 4,679 PCR test results with 390 confirmed positive cases. There are 114 active cases of COVID-19 in Columbia County. There are 36 additional residents on mandatory quarantine, seven residents on precautionary quarantine, 243 of the 398 cases have recovered from COVID-19, 18 of the positive cases are hospitalized, one of those in ICU, and they've received 1,243 antibody results, of which 130 were positive. Connecticut Governor Ned Lamont said as of Monday, hospitalization dropped to 454 cases, totaled 42,740. Deaths rose to 3,964 since the start of the pandemic in Connecticut. Now, Home Goods and TJ Maxx locations across the state officially have reopened. Barbershops and hair salons were given clearance to reopen phase one of Governor Ned Lamont's reopening plan. They'll be by appointment only and without waiting areas. Foxwoods and Mohegan Sun Casinos and announced on Monday. They would also be returning, but with social distancing and guest limitations. Lamont also on Monday ordered workers at the state's 215 nursing homes to be regularly tested for the coronavirus disease. The governor's latest executive order also requires weekly testing of staff at publicly and privately managed residential communities and assisted living facilities throughout the state. In Sharon, the Parks and Recreation Commission members believe the town beach at Mudge Pond and Little Rascals Day Camp can safely open for the season. Selectmen are willing to support the extra funds that may be needed to do so. The Board of Finance will be approaching to approve up to $30,000 for camp expenses during a meeting of the Board of Selectmen this past week. Commission Chairwoman Donna Christensen said they took a lot of time to study the best ways to adhere to Governor Ned Lamont's rules related to the COVID-19 safety standards. In New York State, Miranda J. Graham, 33, of Hillsdale, was arrested at 7.20 on May 23rd in Athens, New York, charged with manufacturing drug paraphernalia and 7th degree criminal possession of a controlled substance, a Class A misdemeanor. She was issued an appearance ticket. The Falls Village Board of Finance has approved the municipal and education budgets for the 2020-21 year, keeping the numbers low in consideration of townspeople struggling economically during the coronavirus pandemic. The proposals now go to the Board of selectmen for its approval. The vote came after a virtual hearing last week. The school plan totals $3,653,737, the same as this year, as requested by the Finance Board, even with the large increase in the Region 1 budget. The municipal spending plan is $1,862,244, which 4.88% lower than last year's bottom line. The Board of Finance will meet June 8th to set the mill rate. The Ulster County Fair has been canceled due to the coronavirus health concerns. The Poughkeepsie Journal said the Ulster County Fair was canceled on Monday due to the COVID-19 pandemic, according to the fair's Facebook page. Thousands of visitors, of course, attend every year as they appreciate the aroma and taste of fried treats and the rides and the exhibitions. Quoting here, your safety is and always will be the highest priority, so it has become clear that postponement was the only choice after our team spent countless hours of exploring every possible option, end quote, from the post on Facebook. 
Meanwhile, in Massachusetts, Stockbridge Town races are drawing early interest in a story by the Berkshire Eagle. While a lively election season featuring contests for select and planning boards winds up on June 9th, the official election day, an unusually large number of early and absentee ballots have been cast in advance. As of June 1st, town clerk Terry Tamalini had sent out 137 early ballots and 83 absentee ballots out of 1,675 registered voters in the town. The deadline to request an absentee or early ballot is noon, June 8th. Since those ballots must be mailed, they have to be returned in person before polls close on the next day. Polls are open from 8 a.m. till 6.30 p.m. June 9th on the ground floor of the Senior Center at the town offices, 50 Main Street. In North Adams, they've canceled all their summer events. The Berkshire Eagle reports the city has canceled the events through Labor Day because of concerns over the coronavirus pandemic. This includes the concerts at Windsor Lake Series, Movies Under the Stars at the Colgrove Park, the Eagle Street Beach Party, Downtown Celebration, and the Motorama Car Show. Taking a look at meetings coming up in our area today, the Columbia County Department of Health has set new testing clinic date for Sunday, June 10th at the Columbia County Fairgrounds in Chatham. Meanwhile, there is another one coming up today, 10 a.m. till 1 p.m. Sign up instructions and more at 518-828-3358. The Falls Village Board of Education will have a meeting today, 6 o'clock. The Conic Hill Central School District budget vote and election scheduled for June 9th, but a virtual budget hearing will take place 6.30 via Zoom. Meeting details posted on the district website. Cornwall Inland Wetlands and Watercourse at 7 and the Board of Selectmen at 7.30. The Town of Northeast New York has a meeting coming up on June 3rd at 7.30. Sharon Parks and Recreation have their regular meeting on Thursday, June 4th at 6 p.m. A drive-through food drive to benefit the Corner Pantry in Lakeville, Connecticut, sponsored by Litchfield County Board of Realtors, will be held on June 6th from 10 until 2 at the Sharon Market parking lot. Suggested food donations, canned tuna, pasta sauce, canned fruit, hearty soups, shelf-stable milk, vegetable oil or canola oil, and cereal. You can leave your food in your trunk. A volunteer will come and collect it. The Tagconic Grange, number 100, having their annual outside plant sale, but not the tag sale inside the hall, on Dunbar Road in Sharon on Saturday, June 6th, and most likely on Sunday, June 7th, if they have unsold plants. As always, they'll have both flowers and vegetables. The sale will start in the early morning and go on for most of the day. No time specified as they do not want a crowd of people at one time. The sale is self-service with protocol maintaining the recommendation of social distancing protocols of six feet of separation between individuals. If you're sick, stay home. You have to wear a face mask or covering at all times. They ask that you follow the arrows to keep yourself and others safe. They appreciate your cooperation. More information at 860-364-5373. On June 9th, voters across the Mid-Hudson Valley will determine the fate of school budgets, totaling more than $1.2 billion in spending through an unprecedented process, which all votes will be cast via mail. The Dover Union Free School District, the Pine Plain Central School District, and Weebatuck School District will be all looking for you to vote. So look for your ballots, which should arrive to you via the mail. Our business brief is underwritten by Morgans at the Interlaken, interlaken interlaken.com, and also you'll find them on Facebook, and by Salisbury Bank and Trust, salisburybank.com. The Dow Jones Industrial Average was up. 91.91 yesterday to 25,475.02. The Nasdaq starts off today at 95.52.05 and the S&P 500 at 3,055.73. We'll take a look at the tri-state forecast. That'll come your way in just a few moments.